external orbit insertion means its speed in its orbit will have to be reduced. At that time, a slight reduction in its speed will mean that it tends to fall towards the moon and in that process it acquires an orbit around the moon. And that orbit is going to be highly elliptical and ISRO said that uh, they are going to follow very similarly what had happened during Chandrayaan 2's time when orbiter uh, with uh, lander and rover uh, went into a uh, highly elliptical orbit around the moon. Those uh, at that time it was the peri Selene was about 120 kilometers and uh, and apocelene was about 18,000 kilometers. By uh, the other terms also used apolune and perilune, but that means that in a highly elliptical orbit, the nearest point from the surface and the farthest point from the surface, that's how these figures are indicated. In the matter of Chandrayaan-3 also, uh, at least I will expect that very similar orbit will be formed. After that, uh, once uh, lunar orbit insertion is successful, then we have to wait for uh, 17th August by which time uh, the orbit will have been circularized uh, to the level of 100 km by 100 km and then a separation between propulsion module and the lander rover will take place. After that, lander rover will be placed in another uh, elliptical orbit and on 23rd August uh, in the evening 547 we are expecting touchdown.